Hey everybody, stick around because today we are talking about how to get rid of one of the number one reasons people don't enjoy going camping. We're gonna talk about how to handle insects when you're trying to enjoy the great outdoors. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you ask most people who don't spend a lot of time in the outdoors why that is, there's probably gonna be a couple of things they're gonna name, especially this time of year as we're going into the early part of June. One is oppressive heat and the other is bugs. Let's face it, nobody wants to have to deal with bugs when they're just trying to go out and have a good time. The last thing in the world I wanna do when I'm trying to enjoy a camping trip is wake up in the middle of the night with a spider crawling across my face. I don't wanna to have to deal with wasps. I don't wanna to have to deal with ants. I don't wanna deal with any of these creatures that seem to be on a mission to make my life miserable the entire time I'm there. So there's a handful of things that you can do that are environmentally safe to get rid of bugs at your campsite. We're gonna explore some of those. We're gonna talk about some specific products. And then what I'll do is in the description box, I will provide a link to where you can find those products. Now these will be affiliate links, which means basically I get a little kickback if you buy one of these products. It does not affect your price. You don't have to worry that it's gonna be more expensive and that I'm getting that extra money. It's just part of the program that Amazon offers. So if you see something in here you like, check out the description box and go find it. Let's dive into checking out these products so you can see what they're all about. Oh yeah, before we do that, a couple things you can do to help out the channel. One is of course like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you can be made aware of all upcoming videos. Also, check out the Amazon wish list down there. If you're in a position to help out the channel, that's a great way to do it. And later in this video, I'm going to show a product that one of you viewers sent me off of that Amazon wish list. How cool is that? All right, so let's swing over. Let's check out this first item. Look, everybody loves the idea of camping out under the stars. The, the idea of being able to just lay out a bedroll and kick back for the night has a lot of romance to it. But unless you're just hardcore into the bushcraft lifestyle, that can be uncomfortable. Because let's face it, nobody wants to wake up to creepy crawlies running over their face. Nobody wants to be spending the entire night being woken up by mosquitoes buzzing your ears. I'd love to be able to just sleep in an open field or in a bushcraft shelter or something like that, but I'm just not a big fan of being right there where insects can have their way. This might be a solution for that little problem. This is the pop-up mosquito net from Pyramid Bodyguards. This is a cool little contraption. You can see what size it is. Now, everybody has seen these kind of things that, like the instant pop-up tents that you just take it out of the bag, you throw it out there and everything pops open. And that's essentially the way this thing works. It's just big enough for a single person to crawl inside with their sleeping bag and be able to get away from the mosquitoes. And no matter how tough you are, I think everybody likes the ability to get away from bugs at some point during their outing. So let's take this thing out of here and see what we've got. I got this off of Sportsman's Guide. If it's still on their site, I'll find a link to it so that you can go and pick one up if you're interested. It just has a single Velcro closure. You can see it at that size, it's relatively easy to just kind of throw it in your pack, but we're gonna toss this thing out on the ground and see what we got. So what you've got is this wire housing that goes over your head and then just a body length mosquito net goes down to your feet. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kinda get your sleeping bag and your four-legged friend. <laughs> so you're just gonna get your sleeping bag. You're gonna, you're gonna get your sleeping bag. You're gonna pull this over. Lie down. And here you have it. There are straps on the underside of this that you can tie under your sleeping bag and that'll keep it from blowing off in the wind. There are anchor out points right here, right here. And these are also set up so that they have netting over the anchor out points. So you can peg these down and then cover them with mosquito netting so that bugs don't fly in under. So you might ask, why do you want this cage in here to keep the mosquito netting off? I mean, can't you just breathe through that? Yeah, you can. But the fact is that anywhere that there is mosquito netting laying directly against your body, mosquitoes can get to you through that. They can't fly through it, but they can land on it and they can bite you through it. Down at the bottom, there are additional anchoring points. You've got three of them across the bottom, so you can snug this down as much as you want. This is a nice little setup. I like this a lot, and this would be a great way if you were just trying to go out on a bushcraft style camping trip, but you knew you were going someplace where there was gonna be mosquitoes everywhere. This is a good option. It's small, it's compact, 
it's olive green, so it's going to be subtle. And you could even take this and cover it with leaves or whatever if you wanted to really camouflage it. That's a pretty nifty item. Now the trick is, can I fold it up and get it back in the bag? Because that, that's always the hard part with this kind of stuff. My mummy says no. All right, so you're a bushcrafter. You like going out in the woods and taking minimal stuff. One of your favorite pieces of equipment for lighting is one of these. How can you turn this into a bug repellent? You know, it's quite simple. Find yourself some citronella tiki oil and fill your lamp with that. Look, I am a huge fan of multi-purpose tools. If I've got one that's just a bug repellent and one that's a lamp and I can combine the two, Great, let's do that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put tiki oil in this, and then as this burns, it's gonna be a bug repellent. Now, here's the thing about citronella oil that a lot of people don't realize though. While it is marketed as a mosquito repellent, citronella oil really doesn't work well for mosquitoes. The way citronella oil works is that it puts off an odor that masks the human odors that attract bugs. That's great for things like biting flies, gnats, stuff like that. Not so much with mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are attracted to a handful of things related to humans. One of them is a smell that comes off of our skin. That's where this comes in handy. But the problem is that they're also attracted mostly to carbon dioxide, the stuff that you're breathing out. So if you want to burn this and then sit around and hold your breath, it, it might work for you. But if mosquitoes are the biggest problem where you're going, this doesn't need to be the only trick in your bag because it's probably not gonna work, for, at least not as well as you were hoping. Let's look at a couple other options in the same family. One of my favorite tools for getting rid of mosquitoes, and it's my favorite because I know it works, is the Thermacell. Now this company makes a line of products that all operate generally the same way, and depending on what kind of fuel sources you wanna use and the space that you're dealing with will determine which one of these works the best for you. This is the one that I've got, and it operates by putting a mosquito repellent pad into the top. That attaches to a isobutane can, which most people have with them when they're going camping if you're using things like a jet boil or something like that. You just screw it on here, then you switch it on here, hit the lighter, and it ignites a tiny, tiny heat source inside here that heats up the pad and it puts off a mosquito repellent into the atmosphere. This will keep a 15 to 20 foot dome around you where mosquitoes typically will not fly. Now that is wind dependent. If you've got heavy wind, it's just gonna blow it clear out. If you've got a mild environment, this is the one to go with. Not necessarily this model, just this, this product. Comes in this little bag, and in the bag I also keep a handful of the, uh, of the mats. Let's say you're one of those people that doesn't really use isobutane for anything. Is there another option? Yeah, there is. If you don't have to buy these little cans and tote them around, Off makes a line of products that are pretty cool. Let me show you this one. This is one of their older line of products. I don't think they make this design anymore, but they do make the mosquito repellent lantern still. It's just in a different format. But essentially what this does, and this was my go-to before I got the Thermacell, and I've always been happy with the way this thing works. It works the same as the Thermacell, but instead of having the pad there flat on top, it goes into a slot right here. You just slide the pad down in there. It operates off of a tea light candle. You light the tea light candle, you put the top on, the heat rises up here and it activates the mosquito repellent. That's a really cool product. It's lightweight, it's relatively cheap, and it's really easy to use. And if you don't wanna to have to keep up with cans of isobutane, if you'd rather carry around a handful of tea light candles, that's a good way to go. Now all of these products, the Thermacell, the Off Lanterns, all these kind of things are specifically mosquito repellent. They're not really designed for anything else. They are designed with a mosquito repellent on the pads. They're not just something that's for general bugs, although it will keep a lot of things away. It's specifically for mosquitoes. So you just got to your campsite and realized, oh my goodness, Houston, we have a problem. There are crawling bugs everywhere. Maybe your intention was to have a hammock camp, but there's a giant ant hill against the tree where you were going to string your hammock. Or maybe there's just piles of ants everywhere you look and you know at some point that's going to become a problem. Well, here's an easy solution for you. This is Diatomaceous Earth. This is a product from a company called Harris, and essentially what Diatomaceous Earth is, is it's a natural bug killer. It's shells that have been pulverized into a fine powder. And the great thing about Diatomaceous Earth is it's non-toxic. In fact, if you look right here, it says food grade. There's a reason for that. This is edible. Why would you want to eat it? I'll explain that in just a minute. So where instead of taking something like seven dust or something like that and spreading it everywhere and, and risking kind of throwing off the balance of the ecosystem in the area where you're camping, 
Something like this is going to give you a solution to your problem without causing any environmental issues. Let me open this up and I'll show you a couple things about it real quick. As I said, this is an extremely fine powder. It's very silky feeling, it's very, very fine. And I can, you see I can rub this between my fingers, but to insects, this is like pouring broken glass on them. It is extremely devastating to insects. I've used this around my house. People use this in their gardens. You can mix it in with your gardening soil and turn it up and it will kill insects. But see, here's the other thing. Like I was saying, this is non-toxic. I can eat this. It is actually recommended that you put it in your pet's food because it will help to get rid of intestinal parasites that might be in there. And it's harmless to your pets. It's harmless to people. One of the things that you can do with diatomaceous earth is, especially if you're bringing your pets along and you know this is a place where every time you come back from here you find ticks all over you and your dog, you can take this and put it all over your dog. And you can treat your dog with it before he goes out to run around. And if you're going out hiking, a place you always come back with ticks in your hair, take some of this, rub it through your hair. It's completely harmless. It's completely non-toxic. The only thing that it hurts is crawling insects. And how do you apply this? This particular brand comes with a blower. You know, you might be looking at that, but that's a four pound bag that I bought. And you may be thinking, well, four pounds is a lot to throw in a pack or whatever, but here's the thing. In small quantities, this stuff is almost no weight at all. It's extremely airy, it's extremely light. So you can throw some in a sandwich size Ziploc bag or a quart size Ziploc bag, or you can just load this thing up with it and bring it with you and it's gonna be negligible weight. This works about the same way as if you were using boric acid. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this thing up out of the bag. I will say that when it's on your hands, it's on your hands. It takes a minute to get it off. All right, so I've got blower full, put in the little spout, and it comes with a cap. There's a hole in the tip that lets you focus it just a little bit more. What you're gonna do is take this around to whatever critter site you have, whether it's an anthill, say you found a ground hornet's nest. This works on those two. You're just gonna take this, Oop. I'm downwind and it's just going to distribute it out to the site let's see if we can find an anthill so basically you're going to find an anthill like this one here and just spray some of this around and then almost immediately anything that's living there is not going to be living anymore you can put out as much of this as you need to and you're not going to harm the environment. Some people may say, well, what if a squirrel runs through it and then gets eaten by a bald eagle? Well, here's the thing. It's actually, if a squirrel runs through it, it's probably going to be good for him because it'll kill fleas and things like that that are on him. If a bald eagle captures that squirrel and eats it, it's probably going to be good for the bald eagle. This stuff is edible. If the eagle has parasites, it'll clean him out of him. It's a win-win. Now, the losing side is, is this. Here's my advice. Don't demonstrate diatomaceous earth wearing a black shirt. It's never a good idea. So are you seeing any of these items that you like? Comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these things and how they worked for you. That brings us to our last technique for controlling insects while you're out and about. Now this is a technique that you're going to do before you ever leave the house. So what you need is a product called permethrin. Now what I got is the permethrin spray product made by Sawyer. This is the company that makes the really popular water filters. And this is, as stated, a spray-on product that you're going to treat your gear and your clothing with before you ever leave the house. The way this works is that you're going to spray all of your gear with it, and then once that spray dries, it becomes deadly to insects. Anything that crawls on it is going to die, or at least that's what the product claims. You can treat your tent with this so that anything that crawls up on it is not going to survive. You can treat ground tarps. If you have a mat that you put on the floor of your tent under a cot, you can treat it. If something crawls into the tent and gets on that mat, it's not gonna make it any further than that. Anything that you've got that you're taking with you, you can treat with this stuff, particularly your clothing, especially if you're hiking. You wanna be sure that you're treating the ankle area heavily so that ticks and chiggers and things like that don't crawl up your legs. This stuff is not harmful to people. Now, you don't wanna spray it on you. You don't wanna spray it on any animal. This is not something that is intended to be put wet on any living creature. You're supposed to use the product in its dry form only. This is not a insect repellent like a DEET or something like that. This is strictly a treatment for gear and clothing. Now, while this product is not at all harmful to anything except insects, there are certain limitations that you need to know about when it's wet. The biggest one is that it is toxic to cats, wet. If you spray it on something, your cat rubs against it. It is a neurotoxin for cats. You can spray it wet around dogs, around horses, around cattle, things like that, and it's not gonna bother them. But with cats, it is problematic. 
In order to show you how the permethrin works, I'm going to show you how another product works. If you watched the Night Eyes demonstration video, you saw that I was struggling just a little bit with some paracord. And I made a comment about someone sending me the paracord reel that was on my Amazon wish list. Well, one of y'all did that for me. And it also came with a note saying, you don't have to mention me in this video. I do want to give a huge thank you to the viewer that sent this to me. But this is the tactical rope dispenser from Atwood Rope Manufacturing. Basically what this is, is it's just, it's just a reel that you can keep your paracord on. It's got a cutter with it. So we're going to open this thing up. I'm going to string up a line here on the trees so that I can hang up a couple items and spray them down for method so you can see how that works. So what you get with this is there's a heavy duty plastic case. It's got a ruler on the top in case you need to measure out your paracord. On the back there's a belt clip. Now this this is a little bit, I mean it's bulky so it's not like something you're going to put on an EDC belt or a battle belt or something like that unless using paracord is just a constant thing that you have to deal with. But essentially you can see on the side here that paracord comes out from inside, runs up here, and then as you pull it out it comes out a lot easier than that loop that I was messing with. And then on the side here is a cutter. I don't know if you can see that or if it's focusing on that or not. You just run the paracord through that and then you cut it off. I'm going to run a line between these two trees like I did with the ridge line in, in the other video. I'm going to hang out a couple items and we're going to test them out. Then once we're done with it, we simply put the paracord back through here on the side just to kind of hold it in place and it's snugged up and ready to tuck it away. I like that a lot. That's a lot easier than just having to roll up cord. This is reloadable, so once you run out all your paracord, you can fill it back up again and keep using it. That's going in my pack. All right, so let's put a couple things on this line and get them treated. I've got a hat. If you wear a hat in the outdoors, these are a great thing to treat. A lot of ticks or spiders, things like that will fall out of trees directly on your head. This is a good first line of defense. And then I've got a pair of vintage hunting pants that I got specifically to wear to go hiking. So we're gonna treat these so that the critters don't get us. So we're just gonna spray these down. You can saturate them pretty good, as long as you don't put it on while it's still wet. You really want to focus around the lower legs to keep all your little crawlies that come out of the bushes. Ticks and chiggers. Get them all over. Now, permethrin is a product of chrysanthemum flowers. It's a natural byproduct. And while it doesn't exactly smell like flowers, it's not a terribly unpleasant smell either. It's not overly chemically or whatever, but uh, I can definitely see where you would not want to wear this until it's had a chance to dry and air out just a little bit. Now, the product specifications say that this is good for six washes or up to six weeks after treatment. So you do have to occasionally retreat your items, but you don't have to do it very often. Now, I'm not sure that I would want to take something and wash it six times and then just trust that this stuff is going to keep working. You and I know that claims like that aren't always accurate, but that, that does tell you that it's not something that you have to constantly be on top of. But that's really all there is to it. It's as simple as that. Any piece of gear, anything, that, any part of your sleep system, any part of your tent setup, any part of your clothing, even your backpack can be treated with this stuff and then once it dries it's all going to be part of that campaign against insects while you're out in the outdoors. It definitely will make things a lot more enjoyable and you're not constantly having to worry about if there's something crawling on you in the middle of the night. All right, so that's it for this video. These were some pretty cool items. They're various prices. I mean, you can spend a few dollars or you can spend a lot of money on equipment that you can take camping specifically for the purpose of getting rid of mosquitoes. These are all intended to be things that are easy to carry and easy to keep up with and will be environmentally sound. We don't want to go out and destroy the ecosystem in the places where we want to keep coming back and camping over and over again. So we're going to wrap this one up and until the next time, prepare for the world that you live in, not the one you wish existed. And we'll see you around.